Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel, Star Screen. Today, I have prepared a quiz of human factors for you guys, which is going to help you in the upcoming AME module examination. Also, I am going to make a series of similar quizzes for all the modules, covering all the previous year questions and important topics, so stay tuned if you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. This is the first quiz of human factors, and it will consist of 20 questions. I will be telling you the correct answer of each question, so you need not to worry if you get stuck anywhere. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one, which element is present in the center of shell model? Option A, hardware, option B, software, and option C, liveware. Correct answer is C, liveware. For answer, refer to the diagram of shell model. Question number two, who is more likely to deviate from defined procedures? Option A, inexperienced young man, option B, overconfident young man, and option C, tired old man. Correct answer is B, overconfident young man. Its answer is B because, a man who is overconfident is not going to give much importance to the defined procedure, thinking he knows how to do a job. It is somewhat related to the Murphy's Law and complacency. Question number three, which of the following comes under nonverbal communication? Option A, facial expression, option B, graphics, option C, hand and arm movement, and option D, all of the above. Correct answer is D, all of the above. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 7, Paragraph Number 1.1.3. Question number four, if you are given a task you are unsure of, you should. Option A, consult the appropriate approved data. Option B, ask someone who has done it before. And option C, consult type course notes. Correct answer is A, consult the appropriate approved data. Its answer is pretty obvious because type course notes are often outdated and relying on someone might lead to incorrect procedure being applied. So, A is the most correct option. Question number five, which of the following leads to erroneous decisions? Option A, inadequate or inappropriate training or past experience. Option B, emotional or commercial considerations. Option C, psychological conditions, and option D, all of the above. Correct answer is D, all of the above. For answer refer to ICAO document 9683, paragraph number 4.4.2. Question number 6, what helps in the determination of optimum working conditions? Option A, the characteristics and measurement of light. Option B, the perception of color. Option C, the physiology of the eyes. And option D, all of the above. Correct answer is D, all of the above. For answer refer to ICAO document 9683, paragraph number 1.4.43. Question number seven, what does MEDA stands for? Option A, Managing Error Decision Aid, Option B, Maintenance Error Decision Aid, and Option C, Management Error Decision Aid. Correct answer is B, Maintenance Error Decision Aid. For answer refer to ICAO document 9806, Paragraph number 
Question number 8, Error Capturing Includes? Option A, Pilot Pre-Flight Inspection, Option B, Post-Task Inspection, and Option C, Visual Inspection. Correct answer is B, Post-Task Inspection. For answer, refer to ICAO document 9683, paragraph number 6.7.12. Question number 9, illumination range of hangar lighting should be? Option A, 100 to 150 foot candles, option B, 200 to 500 foot candles, and option C, 100 to 350 foot candles. Correct answer is A, 100 to 150 foot candles. For answer, refer to ICAO document 9683, paragraph number 6.4.27. Question number 10, slips occur in which stage? Option A, execution stage, option B, memory stage, and option C, planning stage. Correct answer is A, execution stage. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 8, Paragraph Number 1.4.4. Question number 11, in ergonomics audit program, data collection is performed in which phase? Option A, pre-maintenance phase, Option B, maintenance phase, Option C, post-maintenance phase, and option D, all of the above. Correct answer is D, all of the above. For answer, refer to CAP 716, Appendix Q, Table Number 2. Question number 12, 70 to 80 percent of the total focusing ability of the eye is achieved by? Option A, lens, option B, iris, and option C, cornea. Correct answer is C, cornea. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 2, Paragraph Number 2.2. .2. Question Number 13, Color Blindness Most Commonly Makes It Difficult to Distinguish Between? Option A, red and blue, option B, red and green, and option C, green and blue. Correct answer is B, red and green. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 2, Paragraph Number 2.11.2. Question Number 14, Acoustic Reflex Reduces the Sound Level by? Option A, 10 decibels, option B, 15 decibels, and option C, 20 decibels. Correct answer is C, 20 decibels. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 2, Paragraph Number 3.3. .3. Question Number 15. Tendency of groups to make decisions that are more extreme than individual members' initial position? Option A, risky shift, option B, group think, and option C, group polarization. Correct answer is C, group polarization. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 3, Paragraph number 2.5.5. Question number 16. Organizational culture is expressed as Option A. Working by the rules. Option B. The way we do things around here. And Option C. Both. Correct answer is B. The way we do things around here. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 3, Paragraph Number 1.2.
Question number 17. Dreaming takes place at which stage of sleep? Option A, stage 3, option B, stage 4, and option C, stage 5. Correct answer is C, stage 5. For answer, refer to CAP 715, chapter 4, paragraph number 5.1.2. Question number 18, cycle of stages of sleep repeats after. Option A, 60 minutes, option B, 90 minutes, and option C, 120 minutes. Correct answer is B, 90 minutes. For answer, refer to CAP 715, chapter 4, paragraph number 5.1.4. Question number 19, maximum limit of blood alcohol content for a person performing a safety critical role is Option A, 20 mg per 100 ml blood, Option B, 10 mg per 100 ml blood, and Option C, 20 mg per 200 ml blood. Correct answer is a. 20 mg per 100 ml blood. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 4, Paragraph Number 6.2. Question Number 20. Smoking cannabis can subtly impair performance for up to? Option A. 12 hours. Option B. 24 hours. And Option C. 48 hours. Correct answer is B, 24 hours. For answer, refer to CAP 715, Chapter 4, Paragraph Number 6.5.2. Okay, so, our today's quiz ends here. I hope you all liked it. Tell me how many questions you got correct. Comment down below. And, also let me know if you want more of these quizzes. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.